All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We made it to Friday, but the fog still fight in the forecast, and it looks like it continues into our weekend. And take a look at this. As we went through the day, those low clouds kind of scraping the top of the trees. Clouds, well, you know, our temperatures are below freezing, but we still have some liquid water content to these clouds, and that's called super cooled water. It hits the treetops and causes this beautiful frost called hoarfrost to form, and we've seen a lot of that. You've shared some photos as well. And take a look at this. These spikes here caused by those super cooled liquid drops freezing instantaneously. They make this white or rime ice because they freeze so quickly. Roxanne, thanks for sharing your photos, and thanks to all of you for your beautiful frosty photos the last several days. A fog advisory continues for the areas you see here darkened. Uh, Devil's Lake Basin, northwest Minnesota, in southeast North Dakota are where the problems are the greatest with visibilities, where it's under a mile uh, at times here in Fargo. Things have reduced a little bit, but right now reporting from Hector, a four mile visibility. Radar shows a few showers of snow south of Fargo. Not all of this is reaching the ground and radar does have a hard time seeing that drizzle or freezing fog, and that's going to be a problem across the region. So that means slippery spots are going to be likely as well. Regionally, we're seeing quiet weather here. Look at this, some clearing in parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Well, maybe a hint at some sunshine for the weekend as we have stormy weather leaving the mid-Atlantic states and another system working on in the Pacific Northwest. Our temperatures as we go into our Friday evening are coolest in Wadena. It's 12 20s elsewhere, still near 30 in Grand Forks at 28. And we do have 30s from Jamestown and Devil's Lake south into Aberdeen at this hour. Take a look at this. Now this is our tower cam. You're looking west on Interstate 94 and on a typical night we could see the Sanford Hospital lights from this view. It's about four miles or a little over away from our station. So our uh, visibility, at least from the tower cam right now, less than four miles here in Fargo 27 on the thermometer with a light wind at under 10 miles per hour from the south Southeast. All right, here's a look at your hometown uh, forecast as we go through the evening hours. Look at this hit and miss flurries of snow are in the forecast. Freezing drizzle is in the forecast as well as an expansion of the fog. You see the fog here in the dark gray shades as we go through the overnight hours. The periods of snow showers continue. Temperatures slowly fall only to around 20 degrees for most. It'll be a little cooler in central Minnesota or anywhere that briefly clears. Then for tomorrow, the fog lifts. We'll have a shot at seeing some sun. Do you see these breaks in the clouds up here up north? That's where the best chance will be. Isolated flurries or freezing drizzle in the southern counties. Then heading into the evening, more of the same. The fog kind of sets back in for the night. Here's a look at your forecast, Fargo. We start out in the 20s once again, just like today. We end in the 20s once again, just like today. It's going to be cloudy once again. You get the picture. Here's a look at your hometown forecast. 30s, a best chance out to the west, just like today, and 20s off to the east. Here's another fun photo. This one shared by Sherry, checking in on our squirrel friends there as they try to rough it through this foggy weather as well. A little more sunshine, at least a chance thereof, on Sunday into Monday. Temperatures similar. In fact, we warm up midweek, Mike. We're watching for a hiccup or a chance of some showers. Thursday and Friday do look a little cooler, but still above average.